Hey, what's going on weavers? Tim here again, and in today's episode, we're going to be wrapping this coin with Paracore, meaning you can make a coin into a keychain or even a necklace. Here's how. For my materials, I've got a keyring, my coin, and some Paracord. I chose this keyring that has a nice aged brass finish to match the coin, which is actually a decision coin from that Chinese website that sells just about everything. And I would say this works best with a thinner coin. I'll have links down below for all of these items. To start the wrap, I'm going to begin from one end about 10 inches or 25 centimeters in. And I'm going to form a reverse S shape. Then with the right running end, I'm going to push a bite through the bite up top. And after that, pull down on the now lower bite to cinch the upper loop closed. I'm using my left hand to hold it all together. From there, repeat the same step again, form a bite and pass it through the loop up top, and then pull down on the lower cord to cinch the loop shut around it and work the slack out. So we're essentially tying a series of slip knots, and after you tie each one, work the slack out and keep each knot nice and tight. You're going to continue tying your brocade knot and it's going to naturally start to curve around in a circle. Continue to make your way around and you can gauge how much you need as you go. To close the knot, we're going to move the left side cord over to the right. Then my right cord is going to pass through the two top loops from the right to the left. Then with the cord on the back, I'm going to pass that one through the space created by the right cord on the rightmost side. After that, just close up the knot and cinch everything through. And of course, you're going to want to place your coin in the knot and tighten it up to check for sizing. You definitely want to make sure it's a nice snug fit. Now, don't worry if it's not completely snug as we can do something about that in a sec. Now, from here, you can tie a stopper knot of your choice. I'm going to tie the good old diamond knot and you can do something simpler if you want. If you want the full detailed tutorial for this knot, I'll have it linked. After tying the knot, I'm going to cinch it up to the closest part of the coin wrap. Using a spike or fid helps for sure. To attach this to my key ring, I'm going to take my two running ends and pass the right cord through the front and the left cord through the back of the ring. Then with the right strand, I'm going to wrap it around the front of all three strands. Then the left strand wraps around the back and over the front and through the loop. Pull tight and close that first snake knot. And I'm going to tie two more snake knots to finish the lanyard. Finally, I'm going to snip and melt the excess cords to lock them in place. Now, as I said, to tighten everything around the coin and keep it secure, we can dip the brocade knot into a cup of hot water and that will really tighten everything down. Just use hot tap water. There's no need to boil it or anything like that. And there we have it, a paracord wrapped coin for your favorite EDC coin. Hope you all enjoyed it and will try it out. Thank you for watching and thank you to all my Patreon supporters for making videos like this possible. 